Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a digital artist and photographer and welcome to the next video in this Photoshop tutorial series. We are doing five minute Photoshop secrets and uh, these are tips and techniques that I use in my personal portfolio. And uh, I hope that you are able to uh, learn something from these little short videos. So what we're gonna be doing today is making something glow. And so I've got this image. This was taken directly off of a stock website, unsplash.com and uh, you can download your own uh, stock images as well or use your own uh, images from your own portfolio. But what we're going to be doing today is making these weights uh, glow. This is a really cool picture of this, this woman. She is uh, lifting up these strong weights. She's got some strong muscles here and uh, we just want to make these weights glow. So the first thing I did uh, is I went ahead and I selected out the weights. So I have a layer of the weights. So I've already used the pen tool and I've cut them out on their own layer and I've also uh, cut out the woman as well. So I've cut her out of the image. And uh, so both of those um, are cut out and ready to go. And uh, you're going to be able to, you're going to need to do that when you do your own uh, glowing tutorial. Make sure you have the objects that you want to glow. Make sure they are selected out from the background. It's really going to make it a lot easier to do. So what we want to do first is we need to make this scene darker. If we want this scene to glow, we need to get some uh, dark, uh, uh, kind of a dark feel to it and then brighten everything up. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go uh, right above uh, my woman and original layer. I'm going to go ahead and do a levels adjustment and I'm just going to bring our lights down pretty far kind of like this. Now you can see what's happening is since I have the weights on the top, uh, they are not being darkened so they are automatically brighter. And I'm actually going to change that blend mode to screen as well just to make them a little bit brighter. Uh, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the actual woman layer and I'm going to do a levels adjustment on her, specifically on her. Make her nice and dark like this. And then I'm going to uh, kind of get rid of these orange glows going around her, um, her skin. I don't want her to be that saturated. So I'm just going to do a hue and saturation on her as well. And I'm going to uh, bring the saturation down. Now she is very dark and uh, she has very little saturation. The next thing I want to do is I want to start working on these, uh, these weights here and make them glow. So I'm gonna go make a layer above everything. I'm gonna get a nice little blue color here like that because I want these to kind of be like a bluish glow. I'm just gonna get a brush tool. That's all I'm gonna do, just a brush tool. And I'm gonna start painting uh, very lightly. I've got a 6% flow here. I'm just gonna paint very lightly around these uh, these weights. I'm going to do the weights and also the bar. Let's zoom out just a little bit. Just a little bit of blue glow is going around the bar and the weights. That's really all I'm doing. Nothing special, just using the, uh, the brush tool and painting. And I don't want to make it completely, you know, opaque. I want to be able to see the texture behind it. Uh, but something kind of like that. And so this is all I've done. Just uh, Just little blue colors right on top of it. Don't change your blend mode. Normal is going to be fine. And then I'm going to make a new layer above that one. I'm going to get a little bit deeper of a blue here. And we're going to do a little bit larger glow here. So this is going to be like our outside glow. Like everything is just filling the atmosphere inside of this, this gym. It's kind of glowing. Um, uh, it's radiating out from uh, the original source, which are these weights. Just like that. And I am going to change this one to screen just like that. So we have this going on right there. Then I'm going to do a new layer and I'm going to put this layer in a group. Go ahead and slide that layer into the group and then change your group blend mode to color dodge. And then pretty much with a good saturated blue color, we're going to paint uh, on directly on the weights itself. So use, you know, different size brushes. You can use some little small ones to get the little edges. Um, or you can use larger ones, but we're really just going to be painting some, some color dodge glows right on these weights here. And a little bit on the bars, but mostly, mostly going to be on the actual weights. I would spend a lot more time on this just to make sure that it's perfect the way I want it, but I'm just showing you how to quickly do this in Photoshop uh, for this tutorial. So something like that, there's our, our color dodge glows before and after. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down uh, to my woman layer real quick. And remember how we did a levels adjustment on her earlier where we made her really dark? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that levels adjustment and I'm going to get a black brush and I'm going to just paint right on the edge of her skin uh, that are facing the uh, the bright glowing weights. And so what that's going to do is it's going to remove that darkness levels adjustment and it's going to reveal that lighter uh, tone behind it. So it may be hard to see on your, your screen here, but it's definitely making uh, the, the edges of her skin uh, a lot brighter because we're taking that levels adjustment off. And you can do it up here on the hair as well and the sides of the face. Okay, so there's uh, that before and after. You can see how we're making the edges of her skin a little bit brighter because we're taking away that levels adjustment. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to our color dodge uh, group again, make a new layer, but control click your woman layer and then hit your layer mask button. And now we can make a glowing layer that's only on, that's only going to affect the woman. And I've got a nice little blue color that we're gonna do that with. And the same thing, I'm just gonna paint blue right on the edges of her skin that are facing the, um, the actual weights. So just painting right on the edge of her skin, not all over her skin, just the areas that are facing, uh, the areas that are facing the, the glowing part of the picture, which are the weights. So make sure you get the side of her, her head and her hair and, and uh, her arm and, and any other spot that would reflect those lights. Again, I would take a lot more time doing this, but I just wanted to show you the process of how I would make uh, something like this glow. Then finally, uh, last thing, we're gonna do a gradient map. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a dark blue, kinda like this, and then kinda like a little medium blue, and then I'm gonna do a white, that's gonna be my gradient map. I'm gonna change that to overlay. And there is our glowing picture. So just like that, uh, by separating the weight and uh, the weights, the woman doing some, uh, some color effects here, you're gonna get this before and after uh, glowing effect. So I really like this technique and I think it looks really cool. And uh, you can use this technique on pretty much any picture you want and make some really cool glowing pictures. But guys, that's all I've got for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I actually do have a full uh, five hour tutorial series on glows on how to do these glowing uh, effects in Photoshop. Uh, I'll include a link in the description below so you can check those out. That includes all the PSD files and the stock images as well. Uh, but I really enjoy doing glows. I hope that you do as well and uh, have fun with this tutorial and um, go out there and make some really creative artwork. Until the next video, guys, have a good one and I'll see you again very soon.